This week on Go With The Heat, we talk about Season 1, Episode 21 of Miami Vice, titled Nobody Lives Forever. On This Week in Vice, we'll be taking a look at when this episode aired, the two weeks between March 18 to March 31st, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. On March 25th, the 57th Annual Academy Awards took place with the host Jack Lemmon. Although best known for Sally Field's acceptance speech for her award for Best Actress in the movie Places in the Heart. And I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. The big winner was Amadeus, which would win eight awards and 11 nominations. These Academy Awards would also be the first time multiple black nominees would win an Oscar. Both Prince and Stevie Wonder would win for their performances in Purple Rain and The Woman in Red, respectively. On March 31st, the first WrestleMania took place at Madison Square Garden. An instant success with over 1 million people watching on pay-per-view. This would mark the beginning of great childhood memories throughout the 80s to today. In the main event, Hulk Hogan and Mr. T would defeat Paul Orndorff and Roddy Piper. Growing up watching each WWF main event in the 80s and into the 90s, this one holds a special place in my heart. We miss you, Roddy. In music, after three weeks at the top of the charts, Ario Speedwagon finally gives up the top spot on the Hot 100. Replacing Can't Fight This Feeling is Phil Collins' classic love ballad, One More Night, from the Diamond Certified album, No Jacket Required. It's no secret I'm a huge Phil Collins fan, and Phil is a Go With The Heat podcast favorite. To me, this song represents why No Jacket Required is deserving to be one of the greatest albums of all time. In theaters, in the two-week span between Miami Vice episodes, two sequels captured the box office. For one week, Friday the 13th, A New Beginning, the fifth installment of the franchise, would hold the top spot and then was quickly replaced by Police Academy 2, their first assignment. Even though many actors from the first Police Academy would reprise their roles in their first assignment, including Steve Gutenberg as Mahoney, Bubba Smith as Hightower, Michael Winslow as Larvell Jones, and more, neither of these sequels are anything special. This Police Academy would hold the top spot for four weeks, most likely due to the lack of competition or Beverly Hills fatigue. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Vice was king. Thanks for listening to This Week in Vice. See show notes and find out how to subscribe to this or our main Miami Vice podcast at GoWithTheHeat.com. You can find us on YouTube, Stitcher, iTunes, Google Music, Twitter, Facebook, and more. Thanks for listening. Bye, pals.